On to race number six then, and race number six at Happy Valley, class four here. 1650 is the trip, headed by last start winner and Regency master Danny Shum. Zach Purton rides on this occasion. Alexi Bedell rode last time out. Faithful Trinity's won two of his three starts so far this uh, season. Maldives uh, gets up from the 14 to the 1600, 1650 here, I should say. Dionysus Colin behind Regency master last time out. Fearless Far comes up in trip as well. Shanghai Grace, another one, switches from Sha Tin to Happy Valley, up in trip as well. Happy Ichiban was a winner, uh, course and distance last season. He's first up for the season here, and uh, V Chevalier has already won this season, but he's another one behind Regency Master last time out. Shanghai Grace and California Legend Mark are the horses that have been on the road. Bit of speed here, so good tempo expected with Faithful Trinity holding the lead over California Legend. That'll give Happy Itchy Ban a nice spot. King's Race, he goes forward too, but expected to tuck in. Dionysus Colin. Last thing he needs at the moment is to be three wide. That may happen around Fearless Fire and Playwise. Good trip for him on the rail. Shanghai Grace v Chevalier, Regency Master Maldives, and Amazing Luck Paul is last. A horse in really good form at the moment is Regency Master. Uh, he's won two of his last three. Uh, he goes nice in his work. The negatives is the wide draw and the big weight, but nothing wrong with his track work. That's him closest to us and working with his partner horse nicely enough here this morning. This horse has had a great season. He's uh, two wins in a second and just beaten in that time. He'll be right on the pace, so he's going to be given another chance. And his track work's good. He just seems to really uh, be going nicely and going well at the moment. It's Faithful Trinity. And Maldives comes to Happy Valley from Shartan. Now, he trialled well at Happy Valley before that Shartan run. Uh, and he didn't get the clearest to run through. Stepping up in trip looks good for him as well. So not bad for him down the back straight. All right. Well, let's start off here with some winning form. It's Regency Master with a few of these horses in behind. And play-wise, V Chevalier and Dionysus uh, Colin naturally a little bit better off at the weights this time, Mark. He started 45-1, to 1, Dionysus Colin, last time, Andrew, and uh, ended up running eighth. He just hasn't found form since he's won that race. Playwise is going well. Missed the start in a trial before his first start of the season. Regency Master Paul, you mentioned it, going well but up to £133. He was pulling away a bit at the end here so I, I thought he might have had these horses covered. The, the draw is probably a little bit more of a, a problem from Barrier 11. Playwise is £5 better off for that beating just over length on that occasion. Now Faithful Trinity uh, would love to get a soft lead here but California legend, we'll come back to him, might be the fly in the ointment, uh, Paul. Yeah, look, he, he, he's going so well at the moment, isn't he? I think California legend is going to sit right on those hind quarters. He won't pressure him, I don't think, because uh, if he does, it could undo both their chances. No, both, I think both California legend and this horse, Faithful Trinity, are good chances in this race. Two from his last three, second behind Royal Racer, where he did cop, um, he wasn't able to lead in that race. So it's the only time he's been beaten since joining the new barn. All right, uh, Maldives adds more depth uh, to the race. Uh, Mark, this is him running fifth to behind Apex Top last time out over the 1400 metres. So up in trip and a, uh, back to the valley. Yeah, interesting. He's gone 1200, 1200, 1400, and 1650. He comes out of trial two at Happy Valley behind Prime Minister Paul. Um, not sure what to make of him. He's in the market at 10 and 3.3 .3 at the moment. Thought he was perhaps an each way player in this race. Yeah, look, the, the, the trip's going to suit him, I think, the way he finished off this race. The draws are interesting. He's drawn wide, isn't he? So he'll get back. You'll just have to see if he can get there in the end. All right, and the last one we'll look at here is the other potential uh, leader, or certainly be on the leader's uh, shoulder or quarters, as you say, uh, Paul, in California Legend. Yeah, I'm going to go with him too, because California Legend is quite a well-rated horse. He's down to 44 now. Uh, he, his win did come off 47. He just weakened late in this and did finish a fifth. Uh, horses down the middle of the track, some street somewhere to get him. Uh, I, I think he won't press for the lead. I think he'll just sit on the, the quarters of, um, of the leader and uh, Faithful Trinity, and uh, he can finish over the top. All right, but it's uh, Regency Master, who's our current favourite, to go back to back. Yeah, and I've got him in. I thought he was pulling away at the end, so I thought he had those horses covered in the race that he was in. But I got California Legend on top to beat him. Uh, then uh, Shanghai Grace and Faithful Trinity. So 10, 1, 9 and 3. Number six, play-wise, getting close to a win. Dennis Ship's having a really good run at the moment. He's in just short of double figures. He goes on top to beat number three, Faithful Trinity. Ten to run third, California Legend. Both the three and the ten will be up on the speed if they don't go too fast. And Maldives number five with the extra ground. Six, three, ten and five, race number six. Shanghai Grace for me now. His wins in the UK came on a poly track. But it was a good run on the turf last time out and up in trip should suit as well. That's race number six. Uh, race number seven next up for us. Class three over the 1200 metres.